Wi-Fi connection problems with Ring floodlight cams are surprisingly common, affecting many users even with newer models. Understanding how to diagnose these issues is the first step toward a reliable connection. Start with these fundamental checks. Ensure your Ring floodlight cam is powered on and your router and modem are functioning properly. A simple reboot by unplugging for 30 seconds often resolves temporary connection issues. The Ring app's device health feature is your primary diagnostic tool. It displays signal strength measurements that help identify weak connections. Strong signals range from negative 50 to negative 60 dBmers, while anything below negative 70 dBm indicates a problematic weak signal. Network congestion occurs when too many devices compete for bandwidth on the same Wi-Fi network. This creates instability and can cause your Ring floodlight cam to disconnect frequently or struggle to maintain a reliable connection. When signal strength is weak, several solutions can help. The Ring Chime Pro acts as both a Wi-Fi extender and notification chime. Moving your router closer to the camera or installing a dedicated Wi-Fi extender can significantly improve connection stability. Some specific compatibility issues have been identified. Netgear wireless cable modems may have firmware problems preventing Ring connections. A workaround involves using a mobile hotspot to update the Ring device firmware. Additionally, Xfinity networks have been reported to interfere with external Ring cameras. In enterprise class or multi-access point wireless networks, Ring devices face roaming issues. Once connected to a specific access point, they may not automatically switch to a stronger signal from another access point on the same network, even after a reset. This can be problematic in larger homes or businesses with multiple Wi-Fi access points. Proper diagnosis involves checking basic connectivity, analyzing signal strength through device health, considering network congestion, identifying router compatibility issues, and understanding multi-access point limitations. These diagnostic steps form the foundation for effective troubleshooting. Start troubleshooting by opening the Ring app and navigating to device health. This is your primary diagnostic tool for connectivity issues. In device health, tap either reconnect or change network. Follow the on-screen prompts carefully, watching for light patterns on your camera and listening for audio cues during setup. Ensure your router is broadcasting the correct frequency. Ring cameras typically work on 2.4 gigahertz, though newer models support five gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz band has longer range but slower speeds. In your router settings, set the 2.4 GHz channel to auto. This allows the router to automatically select the best channel with less interference. Temporarily disable your router's firewall to test if it's blocking the connection. Remember to re-enable it after testing for security. For advanced troubleshooting, try a factory reset. Hold the setup button on your ring camera for 20 seconds. This will erase all settings and require complete reconfiguration. For specific router issues, try these solutions. With Netgear routers, use a mobile hotspot to update firmware first. Multi-access point networks may have roaming issues where ring devices don't switch between access points properly. If all troubleshooting steps fail, contact Ring support for assistance. They can provide device-specific guidance and may offer replacement if hardware issues are identified.